Okay, so Assalamualaikum with me again DJ Kristina, DJ Intan in T Talk Final dan the Final T. Yeah, so Intan, how are you today? Alhamdulillah, how are you? I'm not feeling well actually. Listen to my voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's quite husky. And so today we have our very special guest, very big name, which is Sarah. Yeah. Sarah Hildebrand. How to pronounce your name, Yara? You got it right. Yeah, yeah. Sarah Hildebrand. Hildebrand, yeah, Hildebrand. yeah. Hildebrand, alright. Mm-hmm. So, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you never know my name, Teddy. Dari rumah je. Dari rumah. Yeah. <laughs> so, sebab tu lah nampak tenang. <laughs> ah, nampak tenang, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, now, like, since we are inviting you, we want to get to know you more. Yes. Uh, as in, like, can you introduce yourself? Nama penuh. Because people keep calling you, people keep calling you Sarah Hilda Brennan. Tapi nama penuh? Mm. Don't tak tahu. Don't tak tahu. Uh, uh, uh. Sometimes ada yang tahu tu tahu lah. Tapi yang tak tahu tu tak tahu. And ada yang macam like tak tahu I daripada Malaysia. Ha. Orang ingat I daripada luar kan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, obvious, my yeah. full name is Nur Sarah Marie Hilda Brennan. Binti Ashraf Hildebrand. So Hildebrand tu dua kali. Oh, I see you. Panjang. <laughs> panjang, panjang. Again, again, again. Okay. Nur, Sarah, Marie, Mm-mm. Hildebrand, Mm-mm. Binti Ashraf Hildebrand. I see. Uh, so Ashraf is my dad's name lah, converted uh. into Islamic kan. Uh, I see. Uh, Nur, Nur Sarah, my grandfather bagi nama tu. Marie, my dad bagi. Oh, uh, Nur Sarah. Uh, oh, so combine semua. Uh, Nur Sarah, uh, Nur Sarah Marie Hildebrand. Hildebrand Binti Ashraf Hildebrand. Dah ingat dah? Ingat? Yeah. Intan ingat tak? Yeah. Ingat tak? Mention balik. Mention balik. Try, try. Uh, try yeah. Nur Sarah Marie Sorry. Ashraf Hildebrand. Salah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Hildebrand dua kali. Ha, ah, Hildebrand dua kali. Oh, Nur Sarah Marie Hildebrand Binti Ashraf Hildebrand Yes Betul Alhamdulillah Dapat 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 Uh, Sekarang stay, stay mana? Okay, yes. Okay, so I lahir memang dekat Kuala Lumpur. If you want to know specifically, I lahir dekat Sentul. Sentul. Yes, yes, yes. Just a little small, uh, I think it was a women's clinic, you know, yang memang spe- special for memang untuk beranak and everything kan. So, my my aunt actually kerja kat situ as a nurse. So, uh, yeah, my mom gave birth kat situ. Memang Kuala Lumpur. And I sekarang memang I reside in Kuala Lumpur juga. Uh-uh. Mm, I see. Kuala Lumpur to be specific with which part? Which part? Look uh-uh. uh, at area Ulu Kelang. Uh, Actually, it's just 15 minutes away dari sini. Uh-uh. Uh, 15 minutes ta- je. Tak ta- ta- jauh lah. Tak jauh lah. Alhamdulillah lah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Patutlah sampai on time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. And then like, uh, asal? Asal uh, memang, KL memang, KL memang orang KL, KL lah, kan? yes. But I've I've been back and forth from the states and Malaysia uh-huh. juga lah. So I've lived in the states. I've lived in Malaysia. Oh, you've been in the states for how long? Okay, dear Masheni, mm-hmm. I was born here. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think my dad did kerja sini kerja mm-hmm. when he married my mother and then dibalik sana. Mm-hmm. So I had me and my mom followed him. So I tadi kasana sampai early darjah empat. So okay, basically uh, from kindergarten until mm-hmm. standard three, mm-hmm. and then I moved back here. My parents divorced. I moved mm-hmm. back here with my mother, Dajah mm-hmm. Empat uh, until tingkatan tiga. I see. And then I I took PMR, yeah. and then after that I went back to the states to live with my dad for three years, mm-hmm. and habis belajar kat situ lah high school yes. I see. Uh-uh. So and then balik sini balik. Mm-hmm. So you have the experience of high school here mm-hmm. like in Malaysia. Yes, I do. Kecil kecil di the states. I've I've hmm. been through UPSR and PMR lah takat mm-hmm. tu je lah. Uh. I see. So how do you adopt? Uh, back then uh, you are in US mm-hmm. in standard four your English. So how do you adopt? It was really hard. Honestly, yeah. it was it really hard. hard. It was so hard because mm-hmm. I had to learn Bahasa Malaysia yeah. as soon as I got into school. Oh, in States, you don't use Malay language at all? I mean, no. I, I did much like uh, during the summer, we would balik sini visit uh, my family semua. Uh, but 
I mean nak pick up bahasa Melayu mm. tu tak cepatlah. Ya yeah, it's not that easy. So when I when I came here terus masuk sekolah dah jam 4, I just had to learn everything like mm. so fast. Mm-mm. But alhamdulillah I got it. I, I'm okay. I, I I got I think I got like what? <laughs> DPSR I got uh four A's and one B I think. The five the five subjects B, right? B, 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 it B, 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 I think my B was Science or something, oh, something, mm, something. Well, like, not so BM. No, no, no. You, no. you uh, apa? You score lah BM. Oh then. yes, uh. I made sure I scored. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> walau tak ada. Betul. So like, um, Sarah, yes. you are well known as American German descent. Yeah. Uh huh. So, uh, mind to share about your uh, my family. family? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Actually, uh, you guys are very lucky because yeah. I just uh, visited my dad last year. Ooh. And I got to know uh, a, a, like, like a few things about my family actually because sebelum tu I tak tahu sangat about my history kan. Mm-hmm. So on my dad's side, um, let's see, the the my I think my great grandmother or mm-hmm. my great great grandmother mm-hmm. is from Germany. Mm-hmm. Memang orang from Germany. Ooh, yeah, so Germany. they they came to America to start a new life, and they I think they they went to Indiana. And then they started, I think, farming. Like they did the whole like, macam, uh, apa nama? Uh, farming is petani. Petanian. Ma, petanian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did that, and my grandparents followed and everything, and oh. they just became Americans, lah. Uh uh-uh. uh. So your dad can speak German. Nine, nine. No, no, no. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. But we do still have like. Um, uh, apa makan makanan Jerman tu ada lah sikit sikit. Oh, you know, like you know the culture, the lifestyle. Mm. Right? A little bit, little but then nak cakap tu no, memang tak lah. I don't know. Only any. one word I know <laughs> in German, which is danke. <laughs> danke, <laughs> danke is thank you, right? Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I tahu nine means no. Oh. And yeah is yes lah. Uh uh-uh. uh. Itu cila itu. You don't you don't converse in German. No. Nah, it's hard lah. Like, no. Really. Because my friend. Loves Germany. Uh-huh. Like he's a uh, dear because he she eh? she <laughs> he's a part team German. Oh, 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 me too. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> you too, German. <laughs> Allah, I Brazil lah. Oh yes, yeah. Then, uh, so like time macam mana kita dia support German, so dia belajar semua benda bahasa German. Dia belajar ke German. Oh really? Right. That's really cool. She she learned in German Malaysian at uh, GMI German mm-hmm. Malaysian Institute. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Because also she German do that. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, it is. Uh, now we uh, come to the you are in English, right? Like uh, as a winner of the this M two, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. How how you could you participate in the? How did I get into? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. Um, okay, masa tu I baru balik sini and then uh, my mom my mom said like macam sambung belajar. But at the time my mom's a single mother, so at the time I felt like macam. Uh, I just want to help my mother. I want to like kerja yeah. and like you know try to do it and everything. Yeah. So I started off with modeling. Masa tu dia macam win-win situation. Basically, yeah. I uh, call team with like a uh, makeup artist yeah. and a photographer, and we would always just do like uh, photo shoots and everything so that I blah jam cuma nak model. I see. So it's like for free lah. Just practice. So for jump for is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So okay. sini lah kita buat buat until I'm ready mm-hmm. untuk macam really like I'm confident enough to model. So then I start lah macam ambil like buat photo shoot sikit-sikit. Oh. So I would always masa tu Facebook lah was the thing mm-hmm. and Instagram tak lagi. So I would always like go online and see like if I did jobs, if people would post we're looking for model blah blah blah. blah. So I now pak satu post ni, oh we're looking for models to enter this reality show blah blah. blah. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Ooh, why not go and try?" Ooh. So um I'm not macam, macam tu lah mm-hmm. I masuk. I went to the audition and everything. Mm-hmm. But actually yeah. when I went to the audition, mm-hmm. I felt really out of place. Why? So but I saw orang je yang macam Muka macam ni and lain, oh. yang lain semua memang macam like, pure Malay yeah, and everything. Malay. So, yeah. I rasa macam, eh tak nak lah. Maybe oh. this is not my macam platform. Yeah, platform kan. So, macam, I rasa macam tak apalah. Tapi, I buat juga the audition. Yeah. Tapi, after that, I rasa macam uh, tak kot. Macam, I just want enter it. I cari benda lain lah nak buat. But then, they kept yeah. calling me back and mm. cakap, we really want you to masuk. Eh, yeah. ni semua ialah content kan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I put macam like okay fine lah orang push saya cakap fine I'll just do it lah kalau kau menang whatever and alhamdulillah menang uh, and macam tu lah that's how I got into Gadis M2. Oh, like those who help you just now uh, were your friends or what? No, dorang memang orang yang so you, you hire them? 
Sorry? Oh, like oh yang dalam gadis Oh, itu uh, 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 oh, orang orang belakang tak bel lah. Uh, they will right. they will call uh. and be like hey, like please lah masuk. Saya cakap saya tak nak tak nak tak nak. Cakap, no, you you need to you need to ni 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 ah. Oh, oh, lah. Just because of the surroundings. Uh, because because I rasa macam maybe like, this is it wasn't what I expected. Mm. Uh, so I rasa macam and masa tu my bahasa Malaysia wasn't as macam good as now. Mm. So I tak I tak rasa confident lah nak masuk TV and it was in BM. Mm. So yeah. I, I tak confident lah rasa macam tak apa kau cari benda lain. Yeah. But Alhamdulillah. <laughs> But like it amazed me that your niat is to help your mum. Mm. Oh, uh, to help your mum, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to help your single, your, because your mum is a single mother. Yes. And, and now, Alhamdulillah, here you are. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so as for me, I wanna know, like, um, how do I say? Uh? Since we have uh, asked about the goddess M2. Yes. Goddess M2, right? Mm-hmm. So we are clear that you dah enter the industry. Industry. Uh, industry. industry. Yes. Okay. So. I know that you debuted as an actress in 2015. Mm, you guys did research. Oh, God. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in 2015, is it true? Yeah, it's yeah, true. Right, it's yeah, true. It's true. Uh, right. So in the telemovie of Hujan Pagi. Yes, Hujan Pagi with uh, Rashid Sibi. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the Rashid hero Sibi. was um, Amal Bahrain. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Played the role as Ati. Yeah. So <laughs> can you like uh, share with us? Who is Ati? What is the characteristic of Ati? Like briefly. Oh my God, this uh. is like so long ago. I don't know why I ingat kita. I think um, challenging tak soalan. <laughs> hujan pagi ya. Eh. Hujan pagi. Ah, yeah, hujan pagi. I pakai tudung kan Ati. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, Ati. I tak salah dia check go. Dia check go dekat kampung. Mm. And um, check go tadi kah ke? Oh, macam sekarang dah lah budak-budak kecil. Mm. Lah, Ati mm. jaga budak kecil. I tak ingat sangat. But she was a very You know the kampung girl, very mm. sopan, very neat, and so I mean I I can probably talk about my experience lah. I mm. tak ingat sangat about the character. I just remember dia macam baik baik yeah. budak kampung. Mm. So itu pun satu challenge because it was my first acting gig. Mm. I memang tak ada experience langsung, mm. <laughs> and I just got like macam dumped into the into the apa tali movie. Mm-hmm. So um. Macam mana nak portray budak kampung tu for me at the time memang susah. Hmm. I guess I wasn't, I haven't been like, I didn't really macam, macam mana I tak tahu nak portray budak kampung tu and like with the with the bahasa Melayu again, I was struggling and everything. So that was a very, very good challenge for me. Tapi... Alhamdulillah, it, it was it was alright lah. <laughs> It's not my favorite one, oh, <laughs> to be honest. Right. So what is your favorite one? My favorite okay. one, uh, actually, it's uh, I think it would be this year punya nafas. Uh, it was on NTV7 during puasa. Mm-hmm. I played a girl yang uh, had cancer usus. So I thought that was pretty interesting and it was a bit urban so dia macam like senang nak escape boleh campur-campur bahasa mm-hmm. and everything and you can be more apa modern mm-hmm. in a sense and uh, and also to like uh, to share awareness about like cancer and all this kind it's not easy so I thought mm-hmm. that was pretty fun uh-huh. yeah. Oh in terms of role just now you played the role as Ati uh, okay the role as Ati as budak kampung which means what tak baik lah kan Oh tak baik what do you think about if Sunday, you need to berlakon jadi watak jahat. Mm. Oh, ada? Ada. Tengah berlakon sekarang <laughs> jadi jahat. <laughs> jahat? <laughs> yes, I'm the antagonist. And uh, antagonist. yeah, for right. Pujaan Hati Kanda, uh-uh. it's going to show on TV3, Akasya, um, in December, insyaAllah. Yes. Yes. Oh, nak show ringgit, patutlah tak tahu. Patutlah <laughs> 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 kita tak tahu. Tapi yes, I, da- I finally dapat and I feel like uh, macam bersyukur sangat right. because... Right. It's actually it's quite challenging sebab mm. sebelumnya asyik buat watak baik dekat kita kan pakai tudung so orang memang Mr. macam Oh hey, listen. Oh uh, you jadi budak baik lah <laughs> macam tu and so I've been wanting to mm-hmm. be like uh, the bad person for mm-hmm. a long time sebab mm-hmm. at least bila kita jadi jahat tu boleh lah orang nampak macam oh dia ada macam this side mm-hmm. macam orang tak pernah nampak mm-hmm. and so I'm, I'm very excited for the drama to come out yes and I hope you guys will watch lah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Apa tajuknya ni? Pujaan Hati Kanda. Pujaan Hati Kanda. Okay, yes. take note the listeners Pujaan Hati Kanda in December. Right? December. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, big, big, yeah, yes. jangan lupa TV3. And then like, yeah, of course lah sebagai pelakon of course you want to play the watak baik and watak jahat. Mm-hmm. Kan? Right? And now like, um, No, let's move on. Let's move on from the actress part. All right. So I want to ask regarding you being the TV host. All right. So we also found out 
<laughs> don't fall out. We, okay, we also make research, lah. We make research, and we know that you are afraid to be TV host for hit TV. Yes. Yeah. But it is after like two, two to three, three years. Ah uh, ah uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I was uh, acting first on yeah. and off, and then baru dah ada part off. Yeah. Right. Um. Let's see. I think. I mean, memang dari dulu, like, people would always tell me, you should be a host, you should be a host, blah, 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 semua. But I think, like, acting started first for me. Mm-hmm. And masa tu, masa I dapat call uh, for casting for the Hip TV, I was actually f- filming uh, drama uh, dekat Johor. Uh, oh, apa tu? Like uh, Suami Tanpa Cinta, Jana uh, Nick dengan uh, Syukri Al-Yahya. Yeah, yeah, yes. uh, uh. So, I was over there, then they minta datang. I cakap, eh, tak boleh dekat Johor. Mm. And I was like, no, I tak nak lah, like, just melepaskan the peluang mm-hmm. like just like that mm-hmm. so I said uh, okay how about this what if I just record a video of me like doing the casting mm-hmm. and then just send it to you macam tu lah mm-hmm. so they said okay mm-hmm. so I pun buat lah time shooting tu I uh, buat lah sambil-sambil kan tung- tengah break ke apa and Alhamdulillah they called me back and I got it and you know it's like I, at first I was pretty nervous because mm-hmm. I'm not hosting but um, actually it turned out very well and mm-hmm. I actually which I started to prefer hosting okay, over acting, acting masa tu oh. uh, I see yes yes because you nail it uh, yeah, for me it was like much easier I could be myself yeah. I tak rasa macam all this pressure nak kena macam nak kena buat macam ni macam tu macam tu mm-hmm. uh, you know what I mean advantage is you are talkative yeah, yeah. to me like to be a host to be a TV host we must at least at least be talkative yes to avoid the humbleness Yeah, like, it's an awkward moment, yeah, it's a quick, quick, quick. Okay, since kita dah tanya banyak sangat soalan dekat Sarah, so let's so take a break, break for a while. All right. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Tea Talk with me, DJ Intan. And together with me, DJ Kiss and Sarah. Sarah here to the brand. Who else will it be? <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah, tadi kita dah... Um, Tanya you lah pasal hosting yeah. Pasal acting Yes So kita nak focus on your lifestyle pula okay? Alright Okay focus on focus, focus See on the lifestyle Like it is stated uh, mm. In your Instagram yeah, bio That you are an actress A TV host An MC And An ambassador, ambassador. Yeah, ambassador. <laughs> So how do you manage to handle all the titles like, successfully How do you manage your time with all the sh- pack schedules, of course. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. I mean, I think in general, mm-hmm. which, like we like, I plan and mm-hmm. I ma- I try to manage and everything. Mm-hmm. But I feel like uh, in initially, like Allah is the one that actually mm-hmm. plans for yeah. you and makes sure everything like goes according to what He fit thinks is fit for you, kan? Mm-hmm. Um. I do do like sometimes like because I have so many roles. Mm-hmm. So like maybe like I am shooting uh like much as I'm shooting a drama. Mm-hmm. So I have dates already. Yang I can uh, untuk that drama, kan? Mm-hmm. So then sometimes like much um uh. Uh, my job for my ambassadorship for mm-hmm. Safi, like maybe mm-hmm. they'll want me to come for an event, mm-hmm. but then it falls on a date that's clashing with other jobs. So, mm-hmm. kaka, we like we have to negotiate. Like maybe say like, do you have another date that we can like do it on and like mm-hmm. mudah-mudah macam tu. If tak boleh, then nak buat macam mana? Yeah, tak ada rezeki nak buat benda tu. But mm-hmm. if I do, we try to make time and we yeah. try to Fit organize yeah. lah. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I see. Kalau so kalau during your free time, what do you do? Every time, um, I like to read. I like to chill at home. Kakara tu like macam you know like I'm always like meeting people and stuff. So sometimes I just like to be at home by myself and just kind of like take time on my own and oh. drink some tea. Personally, <laughs> home person now. Um, Dulu tak ta. I think mm. now, now no. I've I've become like a home person. But I do go out and uh, I like to work out. I go to the gym. Oh, I I gym swim. Uh uh-uh. uh, mm. just to like. You know, keep yeah, so fit, keep, keep, fit. Yeah. keep healthy. Mm-hmm. But just normal things like everybody else. What yeah. I what benda tu, yeah. Mm. Like go to gym tu sebenarnya <laughs> macam apa tu? Sakan. Okay, macam lah. Okay, I treat this. Yeah, I used to have this ambition of keep on going to gym <laughs> every day. Okay? Don't we all? Uh, alright. Tapi itu semua sembang. Macam biasa lah. Yeah. Sembang lah. Eh, macam tak jadi. Macam hmm. Okay. okay. This is not alasan, but I think because of the pack schedule as well as a student, mm-hmm. I also have like very it's hard, hard lah to go every day. Mm-hmm. So I pergi like once a week. Okay, uh, at, least, at least at least it's something. Yeah. Daripada tak pergi langsung. Yeah, uh. once a week lah to to keep fit lah because I'm afraid of getting fat again. <laughs> again. Tapi jaga mm. makan and just yeah, exercise. True. 
That's the thing about jaga makan part. Like, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay <laughs> macam ni. Okay, as for me, if I am busy, hmm. I can abandon my eating time. So oh, I, I like that as well. Lupa nak makan. Ah, lupa makan. You are that. Ah, uh, uh. kena tanya. So how do you handle that? Okay, jangan, uh. jangan buat macam tu mm. because I got gastric because of that. Oh. Okay, so now I cannot makan benda pedas. Sayang. Oh, sayang. Uh, sayang. I cannot you makan benda pedas. I suka oh, dulu I makan cili too. api macam tu je. And now I cannot. Now yeah, it's like macam, macam dah lidah mak saleh tau. So. Uh, but, uh, I mean, don't don't do that. Kalau mm. boleh, just like maybe bring like some kind of snack with you, like yeah. biscuits ke apa benda yang you macam like, like, boleh just munch so mm. perut you tak kosong. Takut mm. nanti you tunggu-tunggu-tunggu perut dah masuk angin yeah, betul. and then you get gastric like me, langsung tak makan pedas, mm. nangis. Mm. You know? I I uh. can nangis sebab tak dapat makan pedas. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I can't eat the food. I can't eat the food like this, right? <laughs> Because, um, yeah, as for me, especially an editor, yeah, mm. Um, in order to edit perfectly, I need more time. Yeah, if you have to focus. To have more time, I will cut my eating time. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let, letak, letak like macam a jar of like biscuits ke kat tepi. Oh, at least to munch something, oh, right? Yeah. Okay, that's a tip, yeah. <laughs> just, just do take note. Okay. So, so right, um, like, dari Instagram kan, banyak that uh, we, we see, uh-huh. we have post a lot of, a lot of book. Uh-huh, uh, yeah. 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 So, buku apa yang latest yang you tengah baca sekarang? Tengah yeah. baca. Okay, mm-hmm. buku ni actually it's been a while I've been reading it. Cuma because of my packs, macam schedule. Yeah. Susah nak macam concentrate to read the book. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm still currently on a book called Green Dean. Green Dean. Green Dean. Green Dean. Okay. I, I know. Yes. Uh, so, okay. it's about, um, it. the author explains about what Islam teaches you mm-hmm. regarding protecting our planet. Mm. So, I macam, um, I suka... Ab- I, I suka like uh, like protecting the planet, all this like mm. eco-friendly punya things and everything. Mm. So when I saw the book, I made my mind like, eh, tak pernah, you know, you just never think about things like mm. this tau. Macam, oh, Islam actually connects. Oh, betul lah juga lah kan, mm. Islam and the earth and how you protect it. So mm. that book, which, um, it's interesting to know how you can use Islam yeah. to, you know, be environment friendly. Yeah. Uh. It's somehow like scientific and unique. Can. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yes, yes. So I'm currently okay. reading that book. Oh, so do you love animals? I do. Yeah, I suka. I love I animals. Oh, no wonder. Boleh uh, kucing tak? Boleh ada. Uh, I have my cat. Course, Her name yeah. is Button. Button? She's Button. a Siamese cat. Uh. I bawa dia balik dari US masa pindah, masa dah jam 4 tu. Oh, so, dia sampai lah. sekarang dia ada. Yeah. She's wow. very old now. Yeah, dia dah senior old. dah. Dia actually kan, I takut sebab so, anytime I rasa yeah, dia yeah. boleh pergi. Ya, dia tunggu kan. Button. Button. Sebab a... mata dia macam butang. Ah, <laughs> saya miss cat. Ya, yeah, saya miss cat. Oh, I, I juga bela kucing. Uh-huh. Persian lah. Persian. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. Macam nama Cina kan? Yeah. Ah, ah, kenapa? Tapi, because it's fake ke? No, because uh, oh, uh, mati dia ada eyeliner tau. Oh, really? Ada eyeliner, ya. Yeah. Oh, so, cute. Sebelah je. Oh, but sebelah je. My, my adik yang kasih nama. Oh. oh, boy. I don't know why. Because my uh, brother named Anas. So, he wanted it to sound ah-ah uh, uh, juga. Oh, uh, so, uh, uh, boy uh, lah put the ah uh, 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 as well. So, ah-boy uh, 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 lah juga. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, like, regarding the book. Again. Oh yes, the book. Another topic. <laughs> right? So, like, what actually captures your attention when it comes when it comes to choosing book? Mm. Uh, like, okay, the author, the title, or uh, the title. maybe the design or something. Like, kadang kadang kita tengok benda comel ni nak beli lah. Okay. Nah, kalau itu mak ayah lah. Oh, <laughs> my mom, my mom comel lah, mama nak beli. Okay, oh, cantik mak, lah kan ada bunga bunga ni. Ada bunga bunga macam beli. So as for you, macam mana? Okay, I kalau selalunya I'll just like randomly walk into a bookstore yeah. and then. Oh, which bookstore? Um. Mm. Uh, selalunya I rasa borders, borders. If borders. Kinokunya is a bit susah mm-hmm. But I, I suka juga pergi sana Because they have mm-hmm. different choices mm-hmm. Selalunya borders lah Senang mm-hmm. kan mm-hmm. So I akan Borders lah And I would if I'm specifically looking for something like macam I I will I will go to the topic punya section lah. Mm-hmm. Kalau macam it's about Islam, I akan pergi to the religion. religion. Yeah. Then I will cherry all these books that are like have to do with Islam, and I just scan through lah. Usually the topic, uh, I mean the title is what gets me. Mm-hmm. I akan baca dia punya title dulu. If mm-hmm. I rasa macam hmm interesting, then I can baca the belakang mm-hmm. of the book, the yeah, summary, the kan? And then uh, if that sounds good, mm-hmm. I will flip a few pages. The first few pages. Just think of kalau the the author's writing mm-hmm. actually makes me want to keep reading. Yeah. Kalau tak, I letak je dah balik. If I if see. I rasa macam interesting, oh, I ambil lah. Oh, so you are focusing more to the content instead okay. of the author. Uh, yeah. But yeah. you have 
Any favorite author? Oh yes, uh, in high school I really used to love uh, Malcolm Gladwell. Mm. Malcolm Gladwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a lot of good books about like critical thinking and psychology. Mm. I suka buku psychology macam yeah, tu. I can see lah. Uh, uh, <laughs> something like scientific. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> you love science? You love um, science? I, I wouldn't say I love science. I think I, I just really love uh, the way people think. Mm. Uh, psychology. I took psychology in high school at oh, US. Oh, I see. And that was inspired because because um, when I balik uh, US dulu, when I live with my dad, okay, all these years apart, mm-hmm. I from Dajah Empat uh, until I was uh, basically wait, d- nine years old until I was 16, I wasn't mm-hmm. with my dad. So the growth spurt time too, mm-hmm. from a kid to a teenager, mm-hmm. lain kan, mm-hmm. all your hormones, blah, 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 mm-hmm. and <laughs> <laughs> so I balik duduk dengan my dad, memang it's different lah, he remembered me as a child, and now I'm like this teenage woman teenage kan, years. and then... Um, I couldn't talk to anybody, so I decided that I wanted to see a counselor. Mm, so when I, I when I kept seeing a counselor, like every week, I think I had like maybe one one session a week or mm. something. She inspired me oh. to oh. be interested in psychology <laughs> because I was like, oh my god, look at her, she's helping me. I want to be like her. Mm. I want to help people and stuff like mm. that. So initially, initially, I wanted to be uh, either a psychologist or a counselor. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Psychology yes. is hard. It's not yeah. that easy. <laughs> so in high school, when when they when I had the privilege to take uh, psychology 101, um, my psychology teacher actually her name was Mrs. White. Uh, yeah, yeah, she she yeah. drove she actually drove a Mini Cooper and a Harley Davidson. She was very rugged for oh, a psychology okay. teacher. <laughs> but I remember yeah. she she did tell me one time when she was giving back my assignment, she said that uh, I could I should consider taking psychology in college. Oh. Yeah, so. I mean that's how I just got inspired by all this. So because I tak jadi na, I tak ada rezeki untuk sama belajar yeah. and become a psychologist. I just yeah. prefer reading books that. Yeah, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. You you can like actually, even though you can't, you, you can't under- study it, yeah, but you, you can, can still learn. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can still learn. Why not? Mm-hmm. It's hard, but it's interesting, right? It's interesting. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. That's why. Oh, so minat psikologi ni punya. Saya tahu. Alright, so um, back to the <laughs> industry lah. Kita okay. nak tanya balik pasal industry. Okay. Because we know that you have appeared in magazines such as Impact, yeah. mm-hmm. A, mm-hmm. Hijabi Star. Mm-hmm. Like, can you share the experience of working with those companies? Okay. Mm-hmm. Like just the Magazine companies magazine and stuff. Companies. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I think it's always fun when they call you for photo shoots and interviews. I always get really excited because like, I mean, I feel like much um, appreciate it that they mm-hmm. want to still like much um, have me appear in their media and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And uh, the photo shoots are always fun. You get to like make up, dress up, and uh, dorang ada lah all these like much um, creative ideas. It's nice to mm-hmm. see people still being creative mm-hmm. and um, uh, working I- with them juga actually gives you because orang still think about and yeah, orang still yeah, need yeah. so. Kadang-kadang tu, you model for them, mm-hmm. and you pakai baju sesapa pun, mm-hmm. and then suddenly, the designer might want to like call mm-hmm. you and have you do something with them, and it's oh like, it so creates it's opportunities like juga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, of course, our designer can tengok, oh yes, sure. our designs in the magazine, tengok lah, mm-hmm. eh, the model yeah, macam, the model. if they like you, mm-hmm. you get an opportunity to do other things oh, juga. So, macam so. so. yeah, related lah, continuous kata, continuous mm-hmm. rezeki. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> dia <laughs> macam, <laughs> ada like, it's all connected kan. Yeah, uh-huh. I see. So, but as for me, dulu I pernah juga masuk majalah uh-huh, macam with, my, with my family lah. Uh-huh. Uh, ibu, majalah Anis, do you know Anis, uh, Anis and their car? Uh, and the car and car, and the car and car. Like with my uh, family because of my mom. Uh. Uh, my mom is an uh, entrepreneur. Oh. Uh, she's a business, uh, the CEO of Jatimas, remember her? Oh, Jatimas. Uh, Jatimas okay. is a furniture tech wood company. I, I've heard of Jatimas. Uh, Jatimas, yeah. yeah, Jatimas. So, masuk majalah tu macam the shooting time, shoot at home, semua. I f- experienced that and it was somehow tiring. <laughs> so, letih. <laughs> itu baru time tu kecil tau. Mereka kecil lagi dah letih. Maybe sebab budak kot mm. macam cepat. Biasa, 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 biasa. Uh, and then the next is I juga ada like I'm not modeling cuma ada join this 
straight photography they always uh, ask me to oh, be the model and everything yes. oh letih juga tu yes it's <laughs> tiring it <laughs> is but like you yeah. said kan yeah. macam if you're passionate about something yeah. then yeah. jadi penat yeah, yeah. Uh. true true betul <laughs> jadi penat and then it's um, apa it's fun yeah it jadi uh, fun yeah. you fun. make it fun and mm-hmm. then gain opportunity yeah gain opportunity uh, sangat yes. sangat you know, it really helps because according to like my uh, experience based on But the photographers that uh, took me to be the uh-huh, model, model yeah. like dia mula mula seorang ambil tau seorang ambil mana pasal tiba-tiba dia punya kawan pula raja ha. okay. Ha, macam tu lah cuma macam opportunity makin lama macam kalau makin meluas ada rezeki dapat dalam kerja mm. uh, macam like job ataupun opportunity bigger opportunity yes that's then, true uh, very true Ethan? Ya. Tanya-tanya. I concur pula kan. So you can ask and So as a celebrity, yes. what is your point of view uh, oh. to this entertainment mm. industry? My point of view. Mm. Yeah. Like mm. Now this, our industry is different yeah. than before. Yeah. Uh, okay. Before, I mean before, before, like lama. Was it before us? Before us. Before us. Uh, uh, before us. Um, uh, Okay, I that part I but I don't really know what it was like before us. Oh. Tapi what I know of is that like now, mm-hmm. um, I feel like uh, there's Instagram and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So I mean, Alhamdulillah, there's opportunities for everybody to like do business on Instagram. Senang lah lagi kan untuk yeah. orang uh, kenal you and kenal yeah, your true. business kape. Mm-hmm. Cuma sometimes too, you know, we have these social influencers mm-hmm. and. Um, Nowadays, I realize macam like TV stations and stuff like that, they prefer to take benda-benda yang viral instead of <laughs> yeah. benda-benda I yang can, yeah. <laughs> benda-benda yang actually ada quality. Mm-hmm. So it kind of like, um, I don't want to say ruin, but it, yeah. it kind of like uh, has it, it has lowered the standard for uh, you know actual artists and celebrities yeah. in the industry in terms of like rates and stuff like that because yeah. that terlalu ramai sangat and mm-hmm. sometimes you pun tak tahu like siapa itu like macam yeah. it, because it's just too too many people that I mean sometimes orang tak kena iPhone it's normal mm-hmm. tapi it's just that macam kadang-kadang tu oh social influencer and then mm-hmm. usually dulu lah before the social mm-hmm. influencer ni mm-hmm. um, you know big brands would always want to take like the celebrities or the artists because orang kenal orang but now mm-hmm. because orang kenal social influencer juga mm-hmm. they prefer for taking social influencers also because maybe kalau artis tu terlalu mahal mm. and of course who does it want to save budget Bila. you know so they don't prefer to ambil all these social influencers Influencer. and everything and mm. it kind of just right. it kind of yeah. just like which kind of spoils it a little bit you know how yeah. they say like too many cooks can ruin you know yeah, the true. broth so they macam terlalu ramai semua orang and mm. You just dulu memang competition, but now it's just like even more like mm-hmm. macam you just have to try so hard, especially mm-hmm. because orang tengok social media, yeah. they tengok mm-hmm. followers berapa ramai. Kadang kadang tu followers ramai gila, but you just feel like macam eh orang yeah. ni dia buat apa sebenarnya? Yeah. Like what are they doing? Mm-hmm. Sangat macam like selfie selfie cantik cantik. Yeah. Like uh, like to me, I feel like okay that is not a problem, yeah. but Don't be like macam uh, macam ni lah, macam be a hero not a zero. Yeah. Janganlah macam repeat repeat. Yeah. Be somebody yang ada purpose, yang mm-hmm. ada niat baik, yang mm-hmm. macam you know you want to do something to change maybe the world, change the country, change something like you know jangan jadi just macam or just because accent I is like a weird accent or I suka yeah. buat benda benda bodoh like no like yeah. you know what I mean like actually yeah, yeah. have yeah. have uh, positive purposes and something yeah. yang can help other people be all the uh, intelligent things you know yeah, right it is good they better what when do my tell me because um we can as we can see nowadays viral sikit apa macam buat benda yang tak tahu lah nak cakap ridiculous lah kan ridiculous, ridiculous <laughs> lah kan <laughs> viral terus viral lepas tu uh, masuk TV lah pasal mana yeah. masuk naik right It, it ha- does it have to be like this actually? Kind of, does it really? Uh, does it really But like I feel like um, orang suka tengok benda-benda macam That's tu. That's what people are looking oh. now. Looking for now. Like so, tak tahu lah nak cakap macam mana yeah. actually. So that's why I say that I agree to your point where our standard is actually has been lowered. Mm-hmm. 
like to I don't know how to say. Kau tak tahu nak cakap. Yeah. Uh, but it has been lowered. It now. has been lowered uh, now, and lower. everybody just has to fight more lah. Uh, just to. Uh, and then to me, don't just focus on the look. Yeah. On their looks because, because if you focus on the looks Sahaja Without the talent Without the Like you said Hero Instead of zero Yeah like, Memang We will become Like Semakin Low and low and low And smakin In um, the future <laughs> I'm afraid of that actually. Yeah like go down Keep on going down yeah. When we actually want to Just keep on going up And we want the yeah, best For our the people best. And for our country guys. at least be like These states lah We mm-hmm. can see their entertainment so For example Like for the films mm-hmm. For the films yes. Their um, Cinematography And everything I mean, and, and not just that, but like, I mean, their talents actually have talent. things to say. Yeah. It's not just about, oh, I, um, and then I, yeah, I had a rapper on my followers. I had a, like, like, 500 K followers, uh-huh. and then I, like, I'm like, and I'm and I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, no, it's not about yeah. you. When they become influencers, mm-hmm. they actually want to influence a certain yeah. purpose. Bukan, mm-hmm. it's not just Purposes. a selfish, like, like, saja, like, yeah. not popular, no. Betul. Kan, like, mm-hmm. sekarang ni, I rasa just more like, actually popular. Yeah, popularity leads to, like, Paid review. Okay, I'm not check out skin. Uh, <laughs> being popular too, I mean, it seems like it's nice and fun and everything, but it's not 100% fun and oh, nice, guys. So much as I'm an influencer too, I do, I do want you to be whatever you want to be, but again, be somebody who has a purpose, who had a niat yang untuk menolong orang lain, or uh, not, not because of like, so being selfish because you just want to be that or something just pasang niat and go out there and fight for mm-hmm. something instead of just being benda yang macam influencer kosong I guess you would say right uh, uh, just like about quality actually quality quality, <coughs> quality is better than quantity <coughs> always yes so, so I w- oh. All right, so <laughs> we are back we are back. <laughs> back and we have come to the <laughs> end of oh. the session oh, oh. it's so sad because I'm not going to laugh at so since we are um, coming to the end I just want to ask what is your oh. hope oh. your hope for this entertainment industry nowadays. Okay. Uh, I hope that, um, let's see. Uh, I hope that we raise our standards, um, not only as individuals, but as a community and as a country and as the people to go. Mm-hmm. And I, I also hope that we could create more content that allows our people to think more, mm-hmm. um, to be more creative to explore the mind and you know not just like um i get it like it's a stressful life and people when they want to watch tv they want to just relax but i also Mm -hmm. feel that we do need content that will help um everyone to you know use their heads use their brains learn something Mm -hmm. um and um not just for laughs and gags but um you know, we can create uh, content that is that is that has value yeah. for not only us but for our future um, mm-hmm. students and kids and everything. Mm-hmm. And I do hope that um, we just become more we, we we create more awareness in a sense that people are more aware of surroundings of everything like you know all the laws and everything so that tak ada lah macam kadang tu orang selalu macam tak tahu ni tak tahu tu just because maybe they don't read but they watch TV so because of that maybe we could create you know more things that educate people instead yeah. of just like you know seronok so not nangis nangis lah apa benda ni semua ya so like um, even with the term in entertainment um, of course people are looking for something to be laughed at like uh, mm. for laughs and gigs. Entertainment, uh, entertainment la, yeah. la. But still, at least in the content, we need to have the quality. Quality. Yeah, quality. I mean, you could still have yeah. fun mm. and relax mm. while talking mm. about things that are actu- that actually hold value. Yeah, that that salun, that's not serious. Yeah, yeah. True. Yes. Right. So, yeah, this all from us. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I I akan ingat muka. Alright, uh, insyaallah. Insya And then if you want to buy the jersey mask, <laughs> ah, I will me, contact okay? you. Contact the jerseys, <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we have come to the end. Alhamdulillah, yeah. everything went well. And thank you again, Sarah. Sarah, you ran for spending your time. Oh, to start off first, bila okay, for for spending your time to come with us to have this sharing session. Yes, It is very you, beneficial. You. Alhamdulillah. And then to all the listeners, hope you will gain all the benefits. And And then from them. Um, mm-hmm. And so, uh, thank you from us, yes. DJ Kistina, Jintan, Inti Talk, Finer, Finer than the Finer. finest tea. Bye.